So this is Prentice from Cypher Productions Incorporated, and today we're going to talk about independence versus codependence. Independent. In most cases, independence is defined. Dictionary definition is not controlled by another. In politics, from the authority, control or domination of somebody or something else, especially not controlled by another state or organization and able to self-govern. The second definition is able to function by self, able to operate alone because not dependent upon somebody or something else. For an example, they have each wheel has an independent suspension system. Self-support, not forced to rely on another for money or support. And financial independence, showing confidence in self, capable of thinking or acting without consulting with or guidance from others an independent thinker. There's several different definitions for, for independence, but I think independence is becoming a crutch for the way people uh, behave. Um, almost like another one of these excuses that we have uh, implanted because someone else said uh, it's a stronger word to use, independence. So. I, 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 what I want to think about at this particular point is what people actually mean when they're talking about independence. And what's the difference between independence versus codependence and independence versus dependence and each and every one of those particular titles. I think independence is a word that we use to try to come out of a struggle. You're having a struggle with... Uh, other people's ability and other people's opinions. We tend to use the word independence. You find that the label independence is put on a lot of entrepreneurs and businesses and, and companies. The leads of the companies are known as independent. But my question would be, at the same time, are any of these organizations dependent upon government. And people, when you use the word independence, are you dependent on other people to live? Are you dependent on other individuals to see things your way versus legally in some cases? We all have a dependence on our primary needs. We, we depend on our primary needs to survive. We have to have certain things in order to survive. We depend upon the ability to be able to breathe clean air, drink water. Uh, we, depend, we, we, depend, we have a dependence for our secondary needs as human beings uh, in order to progress, in order to be capable of reaching knowledge so that we can continue to learn. But I think dependence is the, now the word that is being used when a person is dependent upon another for a home or shelter. And in some cases it's government, like the baby and baby's mama situation in a lot of cases, not all, but a lot of cases, depending on government or home and shelter. And depending on someone else or the government for food. Back in the day, I think women were felt like they were dependent on individuals or on a husband or having a man around so that they could live to provide food because a man would go out and work and come back and even further back hunt and the children were dependent on the mother and the father for some of these same reasons. So what is your independence? What makes you independent? Does it mean that you're able to pay your own bills? If, if so, are you dependent upon a job in order to do so? Does it mean that you don't have to ask somebody else for information? I mean, an uh, independent mind thinks for itself. That means that person would continuously be creating books and, and I guess would be considered a genius in these types of situations because they're not dependent upon other people's thinking in order to learn. My question then in this case would be, how does an individual of an independent nature work with another person. Because to me, the, when you're using these words independent, you don't really need a boss. You don't really need somebody to tell you what has to be done. You'll find these things yourself. And even then, you're dependent upon the information to come to you in one way, shape, or form, whether it be a book, whether these answers are in your 
research. Uh, you're dependent upon something. This is why I start using the word codependent more often. Some people will say, well, this is a passive aggressive nature. It's a passive aggressive nature if you find that there's an extreme dominant and there's a an extreme an extreme dominant and an extreme weak. So your your automatic dependence is the extreme weak while the extreme dominant would be the independent. 